Okay, here's question 59. I almost didn't make a video for this because it's not really a question that lends itself very well to a video. Um, but then I figured it would be weird if I was missing it, so here goes. It's asking you about lists of numbers and it says which has the greatest standard deviation. Standard deviation is a statistical measure that has a complex formula that you absolutely do not need to know for the ACT, but basically it's what statisticians call a measure of spread. I'm really just writing here so that I've got something going on on the screen. Standard deviation is a measure of spread, so it measures how far the data is from the mean, or how far most of the data is from the mean, I guess. So they usually make these questions pretty obvious. What you need to do is look at the lists of numbers that they give you um, and see which one is the most spread out. That's literally all it is. So option, uh, well, let's eliminate the easy ones first. So option D is a list which, which is all fives. So don't choose that because that's not very spread out. Option B is one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are spread out by one. So I'd say that's not that spread out. Option A, three ones and three tens. That's quite spread out, so I might pick that. Option C is two, six, six, ten, ten, twelve. So that has the same range as option A. Uh, oh no, it doesn't. Option A has a range of nine. Option C has a range of um, ten. But there's more data clustered in the middle, so probably not that. Option E is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, so that's, that's the same as option B, basically, it's six consecutive numbers. Um, so on this question, I'm going to go with A.